Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Alan G. White Implanted Grace, November 5th Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. James chapter 4 verse 7 It is the grace that Christ implants in the soul which creates in us enmity against Satan. Without this converting grace and renewing power, we would continue the captive of Satan, servants ever ready to do his bidding. But the new principle in the soul creates conflict where hitherto had been peace. The power which Christ implants enables us to resist the tyrant and usurper. Whoever is seen to abhor sin instead of loving it, whoever resists and conquers those passions that have held sway within, display the operation of a principle holy from above. The antagonism that exists between the spirit of Christ and the spirit of Satan was most strikingly displayed in the world's reception of Jesus. It was not so much because he appeared without worldly wealth, pomp or grandeur that the Jews were led to reject him. They saw that he possessed power which would more than compensate for the lack of these outward advantages. But the purity and holiness of Christ call forth against him the hatred of the ungodly. His life of self-denial and sinless devotion was a perpetual reproof to a proud, sensual people. It was this that invoked enmity against the Son of God. Satan and evil angels joined with evil human beings. All the energies of apostasy conspired against the champion of truth. The same enmity is manifested towards Christ's followers as was manifested towards their master. Whoever sees the repulsive character of sin and in strength from above resists temptation will assuredly arouse the wrath of Satan and his subjects. Hatred of the pure principle of truth and reproach and persecution of its advocates will exist as long as sin and sinners remain. The followers of Christ and the servants of Satan cannot harmonize. The offense of the cross has not ceased. All that live godly in in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. As Satan endeavoured to cast reproach upon God, so do his agents seek to malign God's people. The spirit which put Christ to death moves the wicked to destroy his followers. All this is a foreshadow in that first prophecy. I will put enmity between the woman and between thy seed and her seed, and all this will continue to the close of time. This is your daily devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Homeward Bound.